Hi, I'm Ross. Welcome to the second video in my Bender Camera Kit assembly series. In this video, I have more information about the kit and show the completed first and second assemblies. The first thing I did was to check the contents of the kit. It was complete and there was some extra stuff that appears to be unrelated. The kit does not come with a lens. All the optical equipment is for something else, not a large format camera. I'm not going to use any of the stains either. They did not come with a kit and are really old now. The instruction book has a list of required tools and equipment. It's all pretty standard stuff for a woodworking project. A ruler, square, and pencil, wood glue and contact cement, clamps, screwdrivers, files, a drill, lots of sandpaper. I also got some corner clamps and they help a lot. I'll need some black paint for the light traps too, but I'll get that later. The prep work had already been done. All the T-nuts were mounted and all the parts were already numbered in pencil. The first of the assemblies that make up the camera had already been completed. It is the monorail with the riders. The front and rear sections of the camera attach to two of the riders. This allows them to be moved for focus or different lenses. The third rider is for the tripod mount. The kit includes an optional longer monorail for lenses that require extreme adjustment. The work that had been done to build the riders was high quality and provides a good model and standard for the work that I will do to build the rest of the kit. The second assembly is the lens board holder. The work had already been started, but only a few steps had been done. I put it together the rest of the way. Assembly wasn't too difficult. Several joints had to be glued at 90 degrees, and some holes had to be drilled for hooks and screws. There was a lot of sanding, too. The black plastic piece in the center is the lens board. It will have the lens installed in it once I get one. The kit came with several lens boards, so you can change lenses easily. Each lens just stays in its lens board. The kit only used two L-screws as hooks to retain the lens board and the holder. I didn't think that was enough to keep an expensive lens from falling out, so I added two more. The lens and shutter are combined in large format cameras like this. I'm going to have to go to a camera shop to get one. That's all I have to show for this video. I have all the parts and equipment I need and have started putting the kit together. It's actually a lot of fun, and I look forward to making more progress. I'll keep you posted as I do. Thanks for watching.